Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome to Arctic Fleet. So, this is a game where you get started with your very own shipping company in the Arctic Ocean, transporting people and goods through the icy waters. But without further ado, let's hop into it, shall we? Welcome to one of the coldest places on Earth, the North Pole. The Arctic's harsh, harsh climate and endless ice may scare away some of the travelers, but an experienced seaman knows that this actually is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Those who are not afraid of hard work or the, at the edge of the world can make the Arctic to their second home. If you're an old sea dog who has sailed through ice-covered waters so many times, you could probably navigate through them with your eyes closed. Only one of your goals is still unfulfilled, to help build the Arctic Science Observatory. Okay. At least we're doing something for scientific research. But such an important task will only be entrusted to the best of the best. That's why you need to prove your skills and win an impeccable reputation as a chief of a shipping company. This is what I have to do, okay? This is what I must do. Your own shipping company was established very recently. Make sure your skills are noticed and appreciated. And you are going to do this your usual way by working hard uh, and with, on, with an honest effort. All right. So... Place of work is the Arctic Circle, blah, 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 thicker the ice, the lower the speed of your vessel. Remember that ships passing through Nihilus will arrive at the port sooner uh, than those passing through old ice. Make sure to check the map. All right, your company will handle both passenger and cargo services. That's why you have to build different types of ships, each for its own task. Let's get started. All right, I'm ready. I'm prepared for this. I've, I've worked my whole life for this for some reason. To build a ship, you need to build a shipping dock. Uh, shipbuilding dock. First, select a port. All right, so we got Dixon. Seems like this is the only place that I can go at the moment. So, all right, we'll go ahead and start here. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and start up with the shipbuilding dock, which is going to cost us a thousand two hundred. I don't exactly know what unit that is, but a th. We'll just call it th for now. Uh, once the dock is ready, you can start building ships. Go to the construction tab. All right. All right. So we got the name. What is our first ship going to be called? I'm going to call it the Ice King. All right definitely the ice king all right now my original thought process for this was to build small ships because I, I was thinking kind of on open water smaller ships you know can usually be faster but with this i guess smaller ships aren't really the idea because i mean the smaller ships can't really break through ice that well so they'll be a little bit slower or actually a lot slower in this game so th i think we're gonna go with like the biggest that we can afford pretty much so housing three uh we're gonna put the okay we're gonna put the Number of reactors, which is going to affect the speed. So we're going to go with three because that's the most that we can do. All right. Uh, I want to start off with a bulk carrier, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll just start out with we'll, we'll start with a bulk carrier. All right. And that's going to cost us 1,270. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start building. That leaves us with 7,529. The first ship is ready to sail. All right. Let's not hesitate to take the first contract. Which is literally already going to be due, pretty much. It's not going to be worth that much. 70 tons. Alright, availability of contracts depends on whether your fleet has the necessary ships. Always check shipping time and port of destination as well as types of ice that covers the seas that your ships sail through. Okay. Alright, so we only got one ship, which has a top speed of 28 knots. Alright, this is pretty much the only one that we could choose from at this point. There is, let's see. Responsible task to determine which vessel will manage to deliver the cargo on time. Deliver, uh, deliver the cargo ahead of the predicted date, you'll get a cash bonus. For this purpose, I think we're pretty much going to be late. Let's see, the 13th? I thought I think they said the 24th was when they were expecting it. So, we didn't get a rep, uh, we didn't get a bonus for an advance, I guess, because it was our first one. We only got 20 freaking whatever this is. 20 TH for that. <laughs> I might as well just start saying dollars at this point. We didn't get much for that. Delivery successful. In addition to money, each completed contract will give you reputation points. These will allow you to take more difficult tasks and bring you closer to your main goal. The right to participate in the construction of the Arctic uh, Arctic Science Observatory. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Now that you know the basics, you can go and float freely. To build the observatory, you have to work hard and deliver all the necessary equipment. That says necessity. <laughs> that says necessity. All right, staff and resources to the Arctic base. Expand your fleet. Go out to sea and don't be afraid to take difficult tasks. For the harsh north favors the bold. All right. Trust me, I won't be afraid. I'm going to try and push the boundaries as much as possible with this. All right. This is our abode. This is the Arctic Circle. This is what we have to deal with at this point. Let's see. Our one ship right now at the moment. We have, let's see, the Ice King. Did it take any damage? You have to repair the ships pretty much after, I won't say after each one, but it's usually good to do it. But right now the damage is only 1%, so we're not going to worry about it right now. It only costs us 4, uh, four to repair it anyway. Uh, so let's see. I want to, let's see, let's go back to the contracts. 
It's the 24th right now. This was supposed to be due on the 2nd. It would take us 34 days, so I don't think we'd be able to do that in time. Well, actually, yeah, we might be able to do it. We might be able to pull it off, so we'll go ahead and choose that one. All right. I want to see... Let's see, this is going to head... I didn't really plan out this route at all. I don't even know where it's going. It's one thing, this game is a little bit limited. It doesn't exactly tell you everything. Okay, so the point of departure is going to be from Teeksy. Teeksy is... Where the frick is Teeksy? Teeksy's over here. So this, we should be able to go through this pretty fast. We don't have to go... Well, it's now we're going to have to go through the old ice to get up through here. I don't know why we couldn't navigate through this channel here, but... Then again, I guess these are new, uh... New, uh, captains, so they don't exactly know exactly how to get through all this stuff. You would think that it'd be able to fit through there. The ship looks small enough, but... I digress at this point. So it's going to be going from Teeksy to Long Longyearbyen, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is way over, yeah, over here. That's not too far of a journey, I guess. We're about 30% through right now. This is supposed to be due on the 2nd. Uh, I'm going to speed this up and see, but I'm not exactly sure if we're going to make this in time. We might just barely do it. Might just barely. I want to see... <clears throat> The one thing I don't like is the fact that you can't kind of check up on your ships as they're going. So I can't see how much damage we're taking at the moment. The random sounds that are happening right now, the bears and everything else. Looks like we're going to have to go through the old ice to get through here, which is unfortunate, which is going to slow us down a good bit. But we still got like a week left, and we're not too far away at this point. So, eh, it might be cutting it a little bit close. Might be... No, I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. We got like two days left, and that's going to pretty much do it. We won't get a bonus, but hey, we'll get something out of it, so I guess I can't complain too much. We're like a day late. Day late and a dollar short. All right, so we got six reputation points for that and 680 THs. All right. <clears throat> Delivery cost is 1,020. Voyage expense is 340. All right, so let's check. I'm going to have to build a ship repair dock in long gear. Long your bin. It's gonna cost me 479. It's pretty much gonna take most of what we just made, but you know what? It's probably gonna be necessary. Uh, it's good to have repair docks in pretty much every dock uh, available, so that way you can repair your ships everywhere and not have to go on another contract before you can repair. So let's see, we've got the Ice King. It's currently at 22% damage, so it wasn't really necessary to repair it right now. Uh, so we can probably go another trip without having to do that. So let's see. I want to take on another contract. This is 5th month of 26. It's kind of the only thing that we can do right now, so I don't really have a choice here, do I? I'm not going to worry about whether we're going to do it on time at this point. We'll work towards that later. <laughs> right now, we're just known for being reliable, okay? We'll get you your goods. We can't promise that we're going to be there on time, but we can promise you'll get them. This is the Arctic, for crying out loud, okay? How many people are going to be up here shipping anyway? So we're going through all the way through the Resolute. We're gonna go from Resolute. Oh, there's another one right after that. God dang it, if I had waited on that one, this one would have been better for us. Alright, but <clears throat> this one, let's see. Contract in progress or in process. We gotta go from Resolute back to Dixon, which was our original home port down here. Now, Dixon, we don't have a repair dock there. I'm probably gonna need to build one there. Um, so let's see. We can go ahead and throw one there, 369. This will put us at 7,381. Reputation is already looking pretty decent, I guess, 125. I don't exactly know if that's that great. I don't exactly know what I should be looking for. I thought for a second the ship got stuck, but I had paused the game. I was like, oh boy, did we run into a problem here? Did the ship somehow get damaged beyond repair already, and I didn't even notice, and we just lost it in the middle of the ocean? I know it's possible to do that, but I, I don't ever want to get to that point, to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to reach that point. So let's see, it's fifth month is, uh, let's see, when were we supposed to get this done by? Let's go back to our contracts. This is supposed to be done by the 26th, so we're definitely not going to make it in time. We've got like five days, four, we'll make that four days, 84%. we got a little bit left to go, but yeah, we're going to be about two or three days late on this one as well. So, eh, you know, not too bad, you know, hopefully they don't need it that much. They might, but, you know, not much that I can do there. All right. That one's complete. That's going to get us 787. All right. And six more reputation points. So let's see. Another contract. What else do we have available at the moment? This one's going to be due July the 18th. Uh, point of departure from Teeksy, which we've already been in Teeksy before. Teeksy is over this way. 
So that'll be a short little trip for now. So we're going to go from Teeksy to Resolute, which Resolute is... Was Resolute up this way? Yeah, Resolute, we also went there too. So if we could, we might be able to navigate... Well, I don't know. Last time we went through Alert, so we had to go through the old ice. I was going to say, I thought maybe we could go through this way and go up to Resolute. That way we can make a faster trip. Probably more dangerous. I kind of wish that you could pick the routes that your ships went. But you kind of don't have control over that. So, this kind of is what it is. Alright, so we're going to unpause. We're going to take that one. This might be the first one we're able to do on time. Possibly. Possibly. Then again, I'm going to say that and this one's going to be late too. I can't remember how long it just said that I was going to need to take. Once again, we have to go through the old ice to get through. We can't just go through here. So, that kind of sucks. Um, I think we might actually... Let's see cost us a thousand to go ahead and build this first ship so I was gonna say I think we might build a second one at this point so I can take on some more contracts right now so I don't have to be sitting here just waiting on my one ship to go so let's see building wise we're gonna go ahead and build one that's pretty much similar all right the housing number three with three reactors bolt carrier we're gonna also build it in Dixon thousand two hundred seventy it's gonna be the exact same price I'm gonna call this one the renegade all right so there we go, the Renegade, and we're going to start construction. We got 600, I don't exactly know what that stands for, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what that stands for. Alright, but we're going to build it anyway. I forgot how long it just told me it was going to take to build it, but let's see. Uh, being built, it's about 3% through right now, so it's going to take a minute. I think it said it was going to take like 100 days or something, so we're going to be without that ship for a good amount of time. It's not going to be fast, um, so let's see, we're going up through to Resolute. That one was supposed to be due, <clears throat> we might actually, this might be our first one we get done on time. Definitely, we should make it there in like less than two weeks. We did have to go up through that channel again, like I said, which kind of sucks. I wanted to go this way, but it is what it is at this point, and we are there. Alright, so we did get a 81 TH bonus for the timing advance. Alright, and that gives us a total profit of 841. Alright, I will take it, and 7 reputation points. Okay, so let's see, 7,739. Does the ship need repairing at the moment? <clears throat> the Ice King, let's see. Um, where, let's see. The Ice King, 85, yeah, definitely. 85%, <laughs> if we send this thing back out again, it's not coming back. And I don't have the money to really be building new ships like that, even though I just built one. Uh, so let's see, the repair dock would cost me 423 in Resolute. All right. I don't exactly know how much these repairs are going to cost me at the moment, but we're going to find out in a minute. Alright, the Ice King. Repairs are going to cost me 537 This is pretty much taking everything that I've made so far, which kind of sucks. Eventually, we'll be able to make some money because uh, we want to repair every time now. So, let's see. That's going to be on repair. It's 0% through right now because the game is paused. So, we'll have to give that some time as well, along with the new ship being built. Still don't know how much longer we have on that one. Let's see. The Fleet. Built 18%. God, that's the repairs are probably going to be done before the ship is built, more than likely, which I guess is accurate. It does take a, uh, less time to repair a ship than it does to build one, so I guess I can understand that one. They're about, eh, about pretty, they're pretty even at this point. But I was looking at the ships, and one, why does one look different? The Ice King and then the Renegade. They're supposed to both be the same, pretty much. I guess the whole change for the second one? I don't know why. I picked the same one. I don't, I don't think I changed anything, so I'm not exactly sure why that happened. My reputation is up to 138 for 7,316. I can't remember what we started at, to be honest, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't exactly know if we've made any money at this point, considering the money that we've put into all this stuff. I feel like we haven't, uh, but eventually we will. 53%, 54, 37%, 56. All right. I'm going to come back when the ships are repaired and built. Alright, the Ice King is back. It's prepared and ready for service again. So let's see what contracts we have available at the moment. We got one for the 17th of, what is that, September? Which is like literally in like two or three weeks, which we really probably won't be able to do in time. But like I said, at this point, it's going to take us six days for it to get from, let's see. That one, let's see, in process. This is going from... Resolute to Saks Harbor. So actually, that one's not going to be too bad. We, we will be able to do that one in time. We're not going to get that much for it, I don't think, though, because it's such a short trip. If it was longer, we'd probably get a little bit more money. Let me check back in on the Renegade. So the Renegade is now 65% built. 
I said I was going to come back when I had finished both, but at this point I just wanted to go ahead and get something going. So we got 219 for that, which like I said, wasn't that much, like because it was a short trip. So let's see, now we should be able to take on another contract. We've got, it's going to be due in uh, November, November the 10th, from Alert to Bergen. <clears throat> we've been to Alert before, but I don't think we've ever gone to Bergen. So Bergen must be on the... This is the west side at this point. Bergen. The Bergen's way over there and pretty much almost in open waters at this point. So there's like no ice over there. That one shouldn't be too bad either. I think we should be able to do that one in time because we're gonna we're gonna go back from Sax Harbor, go up through this way, go through alert, and then float back through here. We're gonna have to get through some old ice to get there, but not for too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Alright. I hate that you can't some like, it won't even let you see your ships if you're not on pause, though, which kind of sucks. This is 28 days. That's what it's giving me my estimate. So, I think we'll be able to do it in time. Why didn't we just go back the way that we had just... Okay, never mind. I guess it's okay. That's not exactly the way I was expecting us to go. I thought we'd go back the same way that we just came, which was we went up through this way. But, all right, whatever. At this point, I guess I can't change it. So, go ahead and go. All right, so we should be almost done with the Renegade at this point, 74%. Nope, still got a little bit of ways to go. By the time this one finishes with the, um, <clears throat> by the time this one finishes with this trip, it should be built, I think. So 7,535. I wonder how much we're going to get from this one. Kind of doesn't exactly tell you how much you're going to make per trip. It's going to have to guess, uh, which I guess is not, I was going to say, it's not exactly possible to lose too much money in this game. It's 110 tons is going to be what this is. Uh, we get early delivery, 9 TH per uh, per each day that we get early. Alright. Yeah, this one's going to be done on, well, uh, should be done on time. We're moving pretty fast now because we're, uh, we're in the young ice, I think. Or the Nihilus, actually. So, alright. This, and now we're in real open waters. Now we can fly. Alright, so we got it there pretty much a month early, didn't we? <laughs> we had 324 just for getting it that early. Alright, so this is working out pretty good. Andrew 84. So let's see, the fleet, the Ice King, 19% uh, damage, we should probably be able to go through at least another trip or two before we need to repair. So this one's going to be, that's going to be due in 20 days. That's going to be Dixon, Dixon to Archangelus, or Arch, I can't freaking say that, Dixon, where is that at? I know where, well, I just saw Dixon, but where is the other place? There. Okay. I don't know if we could do that. Uh, we could try it. I mean, like I said, at this point, we just need money. <laughs> we just need money. 22 days is what it says it's going to take. So, probably not going to be able to do that in time because I think it was due on the 30th. So, yeah, you know. It's... All right, the Renegade is now here. Did it say the, the Renegade? Is that what they called it? That's not what I meant. It... Okay, no, it's just called the Renegade. I don't know why it just said double the. All right, so we should be able to take on a second contract now. We've got nothing available though at the moment, so never mind then. I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Wait, no, there we go. There's one down here. Uh, November the 10th, from Alert to Saks Harbor. I don't, our ship was built in, wasn't it built in Dixon? This one's gonna be 28 days as well. Hold on, frick, I paused again. Doesn't help right now. All right, we can do, we can still try 28.3 knots. I guess we'll go ahead and do it. Our ships are now passing each other for the first time. They literally collided with each other. Okay, all right. <laughs> we need to fire our captains and get new ones if that's going to be happening. We can't afford that. All right. It's going to head over to Archangelus. I'm probably pronouncing that all sorts of wrong, but you know what? At this point, whatever. Up to 8,419 TH. All right. And 160 reputation points. We're moving our way up. Moving our way up slowly but surely. Let's see, was that supposed to be due on the 10th? No, we didn't get any advance, so no, it wasn't that was supposed to be on the 30th. Alright. So we were a little bit short on that one as well, so 422. Alright. Eh, five days, I think it was. Alright, so let's see. Do we have any more contracts now? We've got don't see anything that we can do at the moment. Nope, nothing at all. I have to build another type of ship. Well, actually, there we go. 11th month of 29th, it's going to be 22 days, take us 15 to get there with the Ice King, so we'll go ahead and do that one, alright, 
I didn't exactly see how far that was, but you know what? It is what it is at this point. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and speed this up. Our other ship should be about done by now, I think. Where the frick is it? Oh, it's up there. Alright, this one, alert. Was it? Okay, it's still got a ways to go. It's going to go from alert to Saks Harbor, which shouldn't take too long. That should be like maybe a week, a couple days. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. We'll get the money back from that. I can't. I don't think that one was going to be done on time. I think that one was kind of a last minute thing, so we didn't really have a good position there. I have to check on the uh, condition of the ship after that, as well as the the uh, Ice King down here. Um, dang it, I think I missed the contract completion thing. 154. Alright, yeah, we're up to 9,697, so I did miss it. So let's go ahead and check the fleet real quick. We got the Ice King, 31% damage. We've got, let's see... And the Renegade with 24%. So they're both probably good enough to go for another trip. And I have to hopefully I can get them to a port that actually has one in it. So I don't have to build anything else. But it's probably not going to happen. Probably wishful thinking at this point. I'll probably have to build something wherever I go. Uh, but I'm going to end it here guys. And I will see you in the next one.